Eh, Gudir, eh, kani wa. Kekeliaka. Is it Kekeliaka? Amen. <laughs> so, light. I have to talk about light for our path. Light for our path. Amen. So, you have to use your, your, your pen and your book just to write something. Amen. Let's turn our Bible to Isaiah chapter 9, verse number 2. Isaiah chapter number 9, verse number 2. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2. Verse 2. The people who walk in darkness. The, the people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. No, the people who walk in darkness. So this means that there are, there are some human beings on this planet that they are in darkness. <laughs> you can walk, you have light coming in the uh, In the spiritual world, you are in darkness. Hallelujah. So the people who walk in darkness mm -hmm. have seen a great light. You see, we have seen a great light. Amen. Amen. It's my prayer that at the end of this sermon, we see a great light. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. Amen. Those who dwell in the land of the shadow of death. Those who dwell in the land of shadow of death. Uh -huh. Upon them a light has shined. Oh, upon them a light has shined. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Lift up your right hand. When you talk about light, light is one of the powerful things that we have on this earth. Without light, you cannot do anything. Let's go to the Ghana, the electricity company of Ghana, BC. Yep. You have fun. You see, you are enjoying it. You have light. You have everything. Even aside that, you have order. You have grace. You are using light. So without the light, I'll tell you, I'm going to church. Because I'll church. Oh, no instrument. I'll go. You see, at your home, Others who will be cooking using electric banner and then at the, at the middle of the rat, <laughs> light of it, then the, the rats will turn to cake. <laughs> oh God, oh God, why, why me? So this means that even our physical red, we need light. Hallelujah. Yeah. And today I'm not here to talk about the light that you are seeing now, but I'm here to talk about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the light. Jesus is the light. Let's see. Last time I was telling the Lebanese at SRC that we have in theology, we have something called the law of first mention. The law of first mention. So when we, when we see the Bible, when we read the Bible, we realize that Jesus came to die for us. Jesus came to die for us. And we realize that according to Genesis chapter number 4, Cain and Abel, when Cain killed Abel, we realize that the blood of Abel was, was what? Was what? Oh, is there a believer here? Yes, so we realize that blood can speak. Hallelujah. The blood attracts the attention of when one came to his heart. Cain, what have you done? I'm like, why? Where? Where? Hallelujah. So, as the law of first, first, the, the law of first nation, we realize that in Genesis, the blood of Abel cried to God. Hallelujah. And in the New Testament, Jesus also came. So today we are looking at light. So let's go and see the law of first nation. We realize that Genesis chapter number one, the, the Bible said, and God said that there was light, and there was light. Hallelujah. And God said that He separated the light from the darkness. And he said that, let's call the light day and the darkness night. So this means that if you are in light, you don't fear anyone. If you are in light, you, you, you are not. I mean, there is no anxiety. If you are in light, you have faith. If you are in light, you have that zeal to do whatever that you want. Hallelujah. So this means that light is very powerful. That's why John chapter number 1, verse number 6. The Bible said that there was a man named John about the light, but he was not the light. So this means that Jesus was the light. Hallelujah. So when God said, let there be light, God was referring to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. God was referring to Jesus Christ. Let there be light, my son, go. Because the Holy Spirit was there, the Spirit goes upon the surface of the earth. And God said, let there be light. When the Holy Spirit came, God said, let there be light. And there was light. 
to Jesus for our part. So you can take the gift to Jesus for our part. Land for our part. Jesus for our part. Because Jesus is the light. Amen. Amen. So Jesus came to confirm what John said about him. Jesus came to confirm what Moses said in Genesis chapter 1. So when we read Genesis, uh, John chapter number 8, verse number 12 for me. The Bible said that, and Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. So we just read it for me. John chapter 8, verse 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, Saying, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. He who follows me. He who follows me. So if I insist, sir, if you follow Jesus Christ, if you accept Jesus as your personal savior, you are in the light. Uh-huh. He who follows me. He who follows me. That is, that is, but have the light of life. But have the light of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Say light. Oh, say that. Right. Amen. Amen. So whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. That's why when we read John chapter 14, verse 6, he said, I am the way. Is it not John 14, 6? Yes. The truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So the life there is the light. Hallelujah. The way, before you can see a way, you need the light. Before you can see the truth, you need the light. I can give you 50 Ghana or 100 cities in the darkness. Maybe your mind will be like, it's one city. Hallelujah. But when you are in the light, you can see it all. So the truth and the life. Jesus Christ. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So light is very important to us. So accept Jesus. And you never walk in darkness. And you, others are getting first class. Don't worry. But well, you go to school time. And then you will be fine. Amen. But then the quizzes we have started. Others are getting 10 over 20. 5 over 20. No working light. And your life will never be the same. Amen. Amen. So Isaiah saw something. He realized something that, ah, no. Those who are in darkness, now we have seen the great light. Because in those days, what the Israelites were doing, fornication, adultery, the Bible said, I am the Lord, your God, who brought you out of me, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other God before me. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I, the Lord, have jealous God. And he sent the children from the sixth to the to the third and the fourth generation for those who hate me. But show you love in thousand generations for those who love me and keep commandment. But sometimes we don't even read our Bible. We don't even pray because we think that that's all and the university. So that's so sad. I, 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 I saw a video. Hey, about Pani Krimi. A cafe on this campus. Why? She had traveled to. Why? Even the companies are not doing this. She had traveled to. Six days, we shall remember and move on with it. But on the seventh day, we shall 
and they will, they will cure Jesus. It will shock you that the day that will send the exam question, what you have feeling to not come? Cry. I'll be letting you, sir. I'll be letting you. Oh, God. And then, why me? I don't die. I don't see. Tell him, what pity? Where? Then, let the child do everything. He told me to. I remember the point where, first semester, man in this environment, the universe. Tell him, you're a son. You're a son. You're a you are a long as the product cast on you. Because I have to pass. It's your son. One page bill, pass the school. God is God. So sometimes let's add Jesus to it. He is the light. When the light comes on, you open the page. Open the right page. Open the right question that it that's how it's doing. Hallelujah. Amen. Is a light for my heart. Amen. Amen. So, this is the introduction. That's someone is in me. I don't die. Amen. Amen. So, the light of the world. The light of the world. So, the angels, according to Luke chapter 2, verse number 14. Luke chapter 2, verse number 14. The angels, they saw. That the desire who is coming is a great man. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Luke chapter 2, verse 14. Luke chapter 2, 14. Glory to God. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Uh -huh. And on the earth be peace. And on the earth be peace. peace. Uh -huh. Goodwill toward men. Goodwill towards men. Today my peace has come here. <laughs> Goodwill. Uh -huh. So it was when the angels had gone away from them. Okay, to them. Thank you. So the angels saw that oh, the Messiah who is coming is a great man. So there is glory on them. Amen. I don't want to talk much, but what I want to say this morning is that Jesus is the light. So when you follow Jesus Christ, you will never, ever. And ever walk in darkness. Amen. The Bible says that surely goodness and mercy shall follow you. Oh, oh, who can say how much is all? Who can tell me? How much is all is all? All is all. So day, days, week, weeks, man, months. Yeah, yes, oh, mercy, goodness, who follow me? That's when you follow Jesus Christ. Love in the Lord. Let's follow Jesus Christ. It's, it's, it's about to, it's time for quizzes. Exact, let's start. Presentations, assignment, and others. Yes, this is the time. Talk to God. Now, God, be my light. Be my life when the lecture sits me. Ah, one person. What do you say? Let, let, let me give you five marks. Tell you, go and say, okay. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the word I'm going to say. I prophesied unto someone's life this morning that may the great light be your portion. Amen. Amen. I pray that may God grant you a great value in your life. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. So, read John chapter 3, verse number 19. John chapter 3, verse 19. And this is the condemnation. And this is the condemnation. That the light has come into the world. That the light has come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light. You see, we love darkness more than light. But we love what I'm saying. We love <laughs> That's this when I like. They are coming. My master is coming. My elder is coming. Yes. The house. You will be back to that. I will kill you. I will kill you. But the moment they see the pastor, I will pray for Yazi. The word for Christ. Right in the corner. By the house. He or she 
Hallelujah. Read John chapter 1, 5. And I will end here. John 1, 5. John 1, 5. And the light shines in the No, and the light shines in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. The other version is overcome. The, 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 the Greek word for comprehend when in English language you have comprehension, that's understanding. But when you go to the journey, the Greek word it means katalabam. Katalabam. To take hold by force. Or to do, 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 I don't know. To overcome. Uh -huh. So when the Lord says, uh, the darkness was still. I'll allow you. Realize that when you're in darkness, you can on the you can use touch light. But the, uh, the place that the light will pass, there will be light to the last end. The darkness cannot do anything about it. Share. And I've not seen some before. You have black light. I have seen black light. So I wanted to like leave them, but I said no, I will follow them. And they were going, ah, ah, they will pass, ah, they will pass, ah, they will pass, ah, ah. I said, hey, God, who are you? Ah, God. Amen. 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 May God bless you. Amen. May He bless you. Amen. May He bless you. Amen. May He bless you. Amen. Amen.